guys and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. This is just like a video that it's going to be really fast. And uh, this is how uh, to make bacon. This is how I make mine. I take it out of the package. I put it in my pans. I put the flame on low. If you don't want it, excuse me, my cook. You don't want it to burn, right? And then you take these guys. And always remember what I always said. If you don't have experience, don't be doing what I'm doing right now. You know? That's right. Because if I get burned or whatever, I know how to handle it because I'm used to this. You know what I'm saying? Cooks get burned and cut all the time. Now we're gonna do the other one. I decided to put two pans. Now do you see the oil? You put nothing in it, guys. Just the bacon. Don't put it too high. Because if you put it too high, then it burns and it doesn't really cook nice like this one is cooked. Like on four or seven? It's uh, well, like on a... One's on seven. You can, you can start, this one's on four. You can start on high. 30 seconds into it, put it on uh, between five and six. And finish cooking the bacon that way. So always remember, guys, that uh, this is what I do. That water, that oil that is extra, as you can see the other one on the left, Michael, show everybody. That's my bacon fat from yesterday. And what I do with this bacon fat, guys, is I use it. So that's a tip. I use it to make sauces, okay? So that's a tip for you guys. So this is how your bacon is gonna look. I'm just still cooking it all the way. You know, let's do the same thing here. Excuse me, Michael. Drip, drip that bacon fat right in there. And tell, let me tell you something. You see that bacon fat? It does wonders with sauces. And sometimes some recipes you can use using that. So anyway, here you are with our, our bacon. Okay, Michael. Okay. Just turning it again, guys. So it can look real pretty. Oh, that's the side that I just turned it. So let it uh, crisp, right, Michael? And we'll be taking this out, guys, in no time. There's a lot of people that like the bacon like this. Okay, and there's a lot of people that like it more crispy. My husband, for example, he likes it nice and crispy. And I think Michael likes it nice and crispy, but my other son, James, he likes it just like me. Like cooked, but I like to taste the meat of it. So here we go, taking the bacon out. Excuse me, Michael. And this is how I'm gonna get it out, excuse me. I like to use tongs when doing my bacon. It just cooks nicely. Excuse me, Michael. So that's one. All right, look at them over there. Two. Nice, huh? Three. Turn this one on. Four, I mean. It was really nice, right? So that one that looks a little bit meaty there, that one is going to be for me because I like those pieces like that. I don't like it crispy, crispy. I'm not a crisper like the rest of the family. So here you go, guys, how to make baking an easy way. You can do it in your house. It takes a couple of minutes to do. And voila, you got bacon. And all you got to do is what, guys? Maybe make some toast. Yes, Michael? Oh, yeah. You know? And here's your bacon, guys. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to look us up on... um. On uh, where is it, Michael? On Pinterest, guys, and also on Patreon. If you guys want to donate a dollar, don't want to donate a dollar, okay? And I love you all. Thanks for uh, your beautiful comments. I've been reading everything that everybody is saying, and then thank you for subscribing. But I'm gonna say something. Don't forget to click that notification button, okay, guys? So you can see these little clips like that once in a while. So love you all. Take care of the drink and drive, and enjoy your Sunday morning bacon. Thanks for watching.